Welcome to episode of Potion Soul Run, original seed, coming at you from my living room. It's been a while. The reason why is because I wasn't feeling so well this last month. So um, I started taking care of my health and videos was pretty much the last thing on my mind. But I was hanging out in our communities and man, what a community we have. It's a wild bunch, a bunch of people that don't necessarily get along with each other, but are interested in the same topics. It's actually quite comical. But before we begin, again, do not like this video. I am still wanted for stealing my neighbor's cats. They keep on knocking. I won't let them in. Now, I've been hanging around uh, Kermit Crew lately, the Geek Getaways channel, um, just shooting the shit, you know, talking smack in the, uh, in the chat, just having fun with everybody. And, uh, that, the, the community, I'm, like I said, it's a bunch of people who don't necessarily get along with each other, but tolerate each other. And it's actually quite fun. I made quite a few friends on there um, who I didn't think I would be get along with. One perfect an, an example, one perfect example of somebody who I didn't think I would get along with was Albert Menendez. He was blocked on my channel. Um, one day, I happened to jump into Evil's, I think it was Evil's, um, live stream and he was talking about me albert saying that i was afraid of him and that's why he's fucking my channel and i was like what the what the fuck so you know I, of course i responded i'm like i'm not afraid bro i didn't even you know i didn't even know you were blocked on my channel and see that's what happens sometimes we block people we're so you know trigger happy and shit you know what i mean and we block people who otherwise might be someone that you might have fun with and this last month i've been having fun talking to albert menendez and evil and evie um, you know, they're a little bit on the rougher bunch, uh, rougher crowd, and the thing is, so am I. So it's just like we see eye to eye, you know what I mean? And even though I've been away, you know, I've enjoyed my time in the communities, uh, people's chats, getting to know everybody. Uh, last night was actually a good night. Justice for Albert Menendez. Um, you know, they had a big old Amico stream on the Geek Getaway uh, with this. Um, coming out of quiet period first of all when you talk uh, quiet period might as well stay in quiet period because they didn't give you any more new info all that email was the same shit they've been saying for years pretty much just wait and see so anybody who's still shilling for it like come on guys i like being part of the haters communities and like you know like i agree with them all the time but it's like I don't find it in myself to be mean to um, the people who are still shilling for it because it don't really like I don't really care that much. But I look at you guys and I'm like, come on, like, like I don't understand. Like a company is straight up lying to you guys, manipulating you guys, and you guys still shill for them. I mean, that's just like, do you not have any pride in yourselves? That that's what I, that I look at you and I'm like, fuck, like why? I don't understand it, but. I neither here nor there, because when it comes to the Miko, you know, it's trash. Um, it's always going to be trash. Even if it comes out, it's going to be trash. So, I mean, I don't really care about it. It's not even in my, in my mind. It's like the last thing I even talk about. Um, the only reason why I talk about it is because it comes up in our community, because it's a hot subject. I get it. But one thing that I found interesting um, during this live stream was that, you know, Albert got banned. And I understand why, because... Um, Supposedly, uh, people are leaving other people's address in the live chat and, you know, doxing. And you can't have that shit. I understand that. But what thing that I find funny is that everybody already knows where JT or Smash JT. What the fuck is this? JT Smash? I don't even fucking care. Everybody already knows where Smash lives. Like, he fucking says it all the time in his stupid, uh, in his channel. You know what I mean? So, people um, saying where he lives. I mean, I guess I get it, but I don't know. But one thing that I did not like, I mean, it's not my channel, so I'm not going to say shit. Like, they can run it the way they want on the Geek Getaway, you know what I mean? It's not my channel, it's not my community, I'm just a part of it. But the first thing that Smash JT did when they gave him a mod status was to ban people. The first thing. And that's why people don't like Smash. He's a fucking douche. He's a douche straight up. And it's like, he's, a, he's like a... 
It's like whenever he jumps into somebody's um, live stream or whatever, or in their chat, he'll be like, oh, hey guys, I can jump in for a little bit of time. Motherfucker, you know you had not shit to do. You know you fucking want to jump in, you want the attention. Don't pretend like you have shit to do because you don't. I'll jump in for a little bit of time if you want me. First of all, nobody fucking wants you, but the only reason why we tolerate you is because you're smashed and you got fucking taken over for $10,000 because you're a shill. And so we're like, fuck it, let's just see what this fucker has to say. But no one takes you seriously. We're pretty much just there watching the car crash. That's what it is when we have you on or when they have you on. But it is what it is. One thing that I found funny is that he ran away. Smash JT ran away when he thought that Dean TV jumped onto the stream. Now, what the fuck is that all about? What a pussy. Like, Dean TV, I mean, sure, he's a little, I guess you could say rough and tough too, but that fucker's always joking and shit, you know what I mean? He don't really take things too seriously. He might call you out and stuff, but I'm wondering what JT, what Smash has, or uh, what Dean TV has on Smash that makes him run away so quick. Turns out it wasn't even Dean TV, it was Ninja Kitty just fucking around. But sure enough, Smash is out there running away. Then he, he types in the he types in the chat, oh I have to go either way. Yeah, but 30 minutes later he bans Albert. Come on, you know he's just in there fucking stalking the whole time because he ain't got shit to do. He wants the attention. He loves jumping into these damn streams. Especially the smaller channels because that's the only attention he gets. <sighs> now, I haven't visited his channel in, I don't know, since he left the Amico um, cult. Um, he started just, you know, like, I watched a few of his videos after that, but it was just a bunch of, um, it's like a waste of time, you know what I mean? So I just stopped watching it. Um, he's not very really likable either, so it's like, what am I watching it for? I'm still subscribed, though, because I like to see, you know, what people do in the community and, because... Even though nobody really likes Smash, like in the in the um, outside of his community, um, we accept that he's part of our overall community because it just so happens to be so. Blame it on the Amico, I don't know, but I don't know. Whenever I see him on someone's stream, it just kind of it, it, but it is kind of fun making fun of him. Um, so that's what I'm gonna keep on doing when I can. Now. <laughs> When it comes to Darius Truxton, like, I don't understand what his beef is right now with um, the Geek Getaway, especially since he was getting along with them quite well for about a month or so. Um, Geek Getaway says jealousy because he sees his, his pretty much his community um, embracing the Geek Getaway, and I'm supposed to be he don't like it. I don't know. Uh, I know being part of... Uh, Darius trusting the community sometimes. Um, I don't really go to his channel too much, but when I do, um, you know, a bunch of nice guys, <laughs> nice guys and girls, um, they never give me, they don't give me any grief, you know what I mean? I don't give them any grief either, like, why would I? Um, but there are a few people in this community that are hardcore, you know, and their identity is based off of uh, e-bagging and stuff. And that was huge maybe five years ago. Um, but nowadays, it's like, it's like, who cares? To tell you the truth. If people want to give people money, I, whatever, you do you. Now, when it comes to e-bagging, there's got to be like different, um, different tiers. You know what I mean? I mean, we all agree there's different tiers. E-bagging is when you're actually like, hey, guys, can you guys give me money to pay for this, to pay for that, to pay for this? Oh, you know, guys, uh, my car broke down. I can't go to work. I need money for this. Can any donations will help. And they're actually out there begging for money. Um, you can accuse other people who accept donations and such as being, I don't know, not e-beggars, maybe e-receivers. I don't know. But begging and actually begging is different from uh, receiving tips and donations. Now, I'm not sure if the reason why Darius Truxton gets mad is because he can never be monetized. I hear that his channel was banned, so he can't be monetized anymore. i um, not sure if he ever wants to be monetized, but... I mean, if you're going to be spending your time, you know, creating videos for a corporation such as YouTube, even though we're doing it for, like, the viewers, might as well get paid for it, especially since YouTube is getting paid for all the videos that we put up. So fuck them, you know what I mean? Making money off our hard on work. Hard, hard on work. <laughs> Are hard work so whatever if you can make money off of it I say do it 
Now, I got no um, no sides on this squabble because that's all it is, just a squabble um, over nothing, pretty much. Uh, they pretty much are two sides of the same coin, um, the way that I see it. So, it's pretty much just arguing at the mirror. What else is going on in our community? I've also been staying, uh, I've also been going to the channels that just, you know, stream games. You know, just trying to get back into the wholesome of it. Um, and those have been quite fun too. Now, for those of you guys that need people, you know, like, well, I actually don't want to tell you guys where to go because I get a bunch of haters on my, uh, channel and they follow me around. And I don't want that hate to go to different channels that are actually wholesome. Me, on the other hand, I'm rough and tough. I don't give a shit. Come to my channel, drop some shit, and I'll ban you. <laughs> and then later on, who knows, I might make, uh, make amends with you and we might become better friends. Now, I'm hoping that we see Albert back in the Geek Getaways uh, streams because he's a staple in pretty much everybody's community. You see him on Retro Bro stream. Um, I don't stream, but I'm probably going to start streaming my game soon. Um, just to... Uh, be able to chat with the community because I mean I can make videos like this but you know you don't really connect too much unless I'm in the comments but that's even short-lived so I'm gonna start streaming too pretty soon just playing my games for example I've been wanting to play uh, Luigi's Mansion I bought it about four I don't know when it came out three years ago four years ago and I still haven't been able to play it. Uh, most of the time because when I play video games I'm kind of just you know like staring at the wall staring at graphics I'm not really too much engaged but fuck it I'll give you guys um, something to watch and then we'll be able to talk if you guys want to talk to me a little bit more. So this is just pretty much just, uh, you know, trying to get back to it, talk to you guys about what's been going on in the community. Um, I'm not quite sure what I, what type of videos I'm going to be doing from now on. Um, I still have a lot of stuff I've been working on, but it's just, you know, it's hard to uh, get back on the ball once you took a break. So I'll be releasing a few during the week and we'll see where we go from there. But um, I'm happy to be back. Um, I'm happy uh, that I made uh, cool acquaintances while I was gone, just chatting it up. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I know this video is everywhere, talking about, you know, talking shit, talking about stuff, not really making points. But I just wanted to show proof of life <laughs> that I'm still alive. And I'll be rocking out more videos for you guys. I have been working on some tube videos um, since I wasn't feeling too well. Just kind of, you know, sketching, doing a bit of drawing, uh, a little bit of animations. I've been working on that, and I do plan on releasing, um, what is today? Probably next week because, uh, like I said, I'm still kind of getting better, slowly but surely. <sighs> That's going to do it for this episode. Remember, when shit is the fan, run. <laughs>